saw someone critiquing the new Percy Jackson book saying that Rick Riordan didn't include anything that showed that Percy had PTSD after Heroes of Olympus and because of who I am as a person. I'm going to now use the DSM-5 to show very obvious signs of him having PTSD just in this little sneak peek of this new book that isn't even out yet. Intrusive or re-experiencing of the event such as intrusive memories. I tried not to shudder. I'd had a bad experience at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and by bad experience, I meant almost getting killed by my sixth grade math teacher. Your girlfriend's friends having a fun thing of what would you do if you could redo the Met and redesign it, and you thinking about the time that you were almost murdered there is the definition of that, by the way, of that intrusive thoughts and intrusive memories. Okay. Exaggerated negative beliefs about themselves, the world, or other people. Or also, having distorted thoughts about what caused the event, or the event, or the consequences. Hannah gave me a forced smile. I don't think she liked me very much, maybe because she wasn't sure I was good enough for Annabeth. Which, hey, fair concern, but I always try to be nice to her. Maybe I had a twinge of angst, too, because she was sitting there laughing with other people, and for the moment, I was on the outside. I wouldn't call it jealousy, though. More like anxious motivation. Annabeth was a natural people person. Everybody wanted to hang out with her and get her approval. She would always succeed whether I was around or not. Anyway, Percy Jackson has shown signs of having PTSD from the first paragraph of The Lightning Thief. If you don't know what PTSD actually is, that's not Rick Riordan's problem. That's yours.